Hey, so today I wanted to talk about auto calibration. So if you've taken any of our training courses, you know that we teach this in level two PCDMS. In that course, we show you the basics. We just show you how to create a parameter set, how to insert this auto calibrate command, and also to use an if go to expression to optionally skip that command. So that's great. I've been teaching this for years until one day a student asked me, what happens if the calibration fails? So my answer was, I don't know, we'll set it up to fail and see what happens. So when I did that, I entered a, a larger uh, tip diameter and it just kept going. It didn't flag it, it didn't stop. So this is a bit of a problem. So I worked out a solution that I'm gonna share with you today and it involves a command called probe data. So probe data is a function that we can plug into an expression that extracts information from the probe file and then we can use that information to set up uh, comments or warnings or, or some sort of an alert that tells the operator that there's a problem. Okay so here we are in PCDMS. I have a program with an auto calibrate command and I've intentionally put the standard deviation tolerance very low so that it will flag that Okay, so let's just run this and I'll show you what I've done. So we'll just hit execute. Okay, so you can see I've also used probe data to plug in the time of the last calibration. So I've also given the operator the option to calibrate now. So I'll say yes. And you can see it's flagged to fail. So I won't rerun it since this is just a simulation. I'll just say no. Do I want to see the calibration results? Yes, so I'll say yes so we can review it. And with that open, you can see that the fail is in the standard deviation. So it's half a micron tolerance, and we've measured uh, one micron. So that's a fail. I can review that, click OK, and then make adjustments as necessary. OK, so let's click OK here, and I'll show you my code. So you can see the four variables I've created, date, deviation, time, and diameter. So using those, I've plugged them into various uh, prompts, various questions, um, operator comments, and yes, no comments. The first one I did was the date and time, and you can see how I plugged that into the yes, no comment, asking the operator if he wants to calibrate. So if he doesn't want to calibrate, it'll just skip it and go right to the uh, first command in the program. So the most important one is the evaluation of the results. So you can see there, I have an expression for uh, the diameter. If it's uh, less than 2.75 mil or greater than 3.25, it will get flagged as a fail. Or if my deviation exceeds half a micron, which in this case it did. If the calibration is good, it just goes to the next step and the operator never sees this message. So let's scroll down a little bit. At the very end of my program is my summary. And that's also optional. So I've also put a yes, no question asking the operator if he wants to see the results. So we, if he doesn't want to, we can just say no and it'll go to the end of the program. Uh, so you, again, you can see my, my variables, DIA, DEV, and I've just plugged that into um, what's called a string function, leaving spaces before and after the quotations. So that will plug the results of the variable or the value of that variable into that uh, sentence. Okay, so it's a little bit complicated. So what I usually recommend to students is uh, watch the video, uh, pause it, and then just uh, make note of the code that I've done. But uh, it's a nice, uh, solution to a problem that we discovered in class one day and uh, I just promised a few people that I'd make this video so that they can uh, have a nice workaround. Okay, so well, I hope you found that useful. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.